A tax fraud scheme involving stolen identities and potentially billions of dollars has now gotten so big that authorities say thieves are driving across the state to cash in. Our Aid on Your Side investigation was the first to shed light on this growing problem. Criminals use other people's identities to file tax returns and get big refunds. It's turned into big business in the Tampa area, and now, as News Channel 8's Lauren Make shows us, it's cropping up for the first time in Sarasota County. Shoppers come to this Venice Walmart for staples like paper towels and orange juice. But detectives say these four men from South Florida came for cash. And as we continue that investigation with our detectives, when it became more clear about exactly what um, we had bumped into. Sarasota County Sheriff Tom Knight says the suspects were using debit cards loaded with government money tax refund money that didn't belong to them. Probably not the first time that these individuals have done it. I, I feel that certain about it. You don't drive from Belle Glade if you haven't done this before. From Palm Beach County, detectives say they traveled across the state in two vehicles, eventually stopping at Walmarts in Northport, Inglewood, and Venice. When the suspects got here to this Walmart in Venice, detectives say they went inside to an ATM and cash registers to use those preloaded debit cards. But a manager had already been tipped off by another store. Earlier that day, Walmart was um, defrauded $32,000. Ultimately, detectives made arrests and took $35,000 in cash and a stack of reloadable debit cards into evidence. This is something that we had seen, um, of course, on the news on Channel 8. Our 8 on Your Side investigation uncovered a massive tax fraud scheme that's exploded in the Tampa Bay region, but it's also showing up around the state and the nation. Without federal prosecution on some of the smaller players, suspects face limited charges. Um, the unfortunate part is they've already bonded out of jail and they're back out there in Florida somewhere. Um, who knows what they're up to, what they're doing, if they're doing this scheme again. Sheriff Knight says the scheme that's become so easy has to be stopped. Uh, the federal government needs to take a look at how they're returning their money to the individuals, the taxpayers, every year. Um, so that this, is, this doesn't occur. There, there's got to be a better way. In Sarasota, Lauren Make, News Channel 8. A fifth person was arrested in a similar scenario at the store later on that day. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office is now working with the Secret Service and other agencies investigating this tax fraud problem.